This is the North Africa Journal and thank you for downloading this podcast. For more podcasts, information and user rules, please visit north-africa.com slash podcast. Hello, this is Areski Daoud of the North Africa Journal. Today is January the 13th, 2011. This podcast is a discussion I had earlier today with the European Investor Active in Algeria, who graciously accepted to share his thoughts and views in light of the latest unrest affecting the North African nation. As usual, I invite you to send us your feedback at the following email address, journal at north-africa.com. Again, journal at north-africa.com and thank you for listening as a european investor in the region uh, particularly in algeria what's your assessment of uh, of what you saw happening in in that country as the year ended and the, and the, new, be- the new year started okay we 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 think that the the, the government of algeria has uh, globally uh, taken a, an appropriate uh, uh, attitude in this crisis, uh, both uh, in uh, its action in the street, which uh, remained uh, uh, very controlled with no intervention from the army and with uh, very controlled actions by the by the security forces, and also in addressing to the to the media and to the to the public. Uh, neither the president nor the prime minister, to our knowledge, uh, nor senior ministers have really made any uh, significant uh, declarations. Uh, the main, uh, there have been here and there a few declarations, uh, soft declarations, uh, but clear declarations, and uh, there is only a, 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 a a, a, a interministerial uh, committee that has uh, addressed uh, a few a few uh, issues uh, and uh, and uh, decided a, a few measures to 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 calm the uh, to calm down the 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 situation so globally we think that the 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 the, the government is, is is doing the right thing at the moment which which unfortunately is not uh, our opinion about the governance in the last uh, in the last two years. Uh, one of the grievances, one of the, the primary grievances of the populations, beside uh, beside rising uh, food prices, uh, has been around uh, unemployment. Uh, do do you think the Algerian government uh, is aware? That this is creating tremendous problems. Number one, and and do you really think, or do you think they have, uh, they are discussing a potential solution to this problem of unemployment in the longer term? Yeah, well, I'm absolutely convinced that the government of Algeria is uh, fully aware of uh, of of this problem uh, as well as other problems. Uh, the, the real problem is that there are too many problems. So uh, to address uh, uh, all problems related to education, to health, to unemployment, to uh, to, to, to security, so it's a, it's it's quite an agenda. But uh, uh, concerning specifically the the uh, the unemployment, uh, even though uh, statistics are neither. Uh, fully reliable, uh, nor even uh, available in some cases. I mean, it is our uh, impression that uh, things have improved in the last uh, years. And as people say uh, often in Algeria, uh, uh, changes occur, uh, can be observed uh, from a generation to to another generation. This is obviously a little bit too long. I mean, um, there are two acute problems to wait for generations to be to be to be solved. But it's uh, things. It seems that things go uh, in the right way. Uh, there are hiccups. Uh, 2008, 2010 
uh, were full of hiccups, but uh, but we think that the the uh, in the last trimester of 2010, uh, the uh, we think that the government of Algeria is is back on the right track. And uh, again, even though this is not related uh, to the structural changes, I mean the way they have handled the last uh, the, the the very recent crisis confirms our, uh, what, what we have been thinking in the last, yes, three to, to six months. Yes, and indeed, I mean, the, uh, the Oroscom problem has been uh, in the minds of uh, most of the foreign investors and, 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 and companies that have uh, invested, in fact, in Oroscom uh, as that country uh, expanded into Algeria. Do you think that uh, that the Oroscom quote unquote crisis uh, may be behind us, or is there still, you think, among foreign investors, a crisis in conf- of confidence uh, in terms of the way they see Algeria? My sense is probably yes, it is there, but it's improving, it's getting better. Yeah, well, uh, on one hand, I think that the worst is behind us because, uh, I mean, those who have followed closely uh, this uh, this story, which ha- which has been going on for 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 two years or so, I mean, know that uh, the, the 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 real cause of it was the uh, the the cement uh, the cement issue with. Uh, with Lafarge taking over Oroscom's stake in Algeria. And then uh, there has been a, a lot of fuss about uh, Oroscom Telecom. Uh, so th- this, this is, this is uh, the, the, the issue is not resolved yet. Uh, we trust that it may well be resolved uh, uh, within six months or at least uh, within this year. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we we think that this the, the the worst of this crisis is is behind us on the other hand uh this uh this uh, situation has had as uh, consequences a number of uh, decrees if not laws that are indeed uh, contradicting uh the uh the the openness of the Algerian economy to to the foreign investment, this is creating uh, additional constraints. But uh, for having been uh, more than 20 years in this country, we come to the conclusion that uh, whenever an investor comes with the uh, with the uh, competences, uh, with sincere intentions. Uh, and with the right communication, despite laws and decrees that may be uh, difficult in some times, I mean, we believe that uh, Algeria remains a, a fantastic field for, for, for entrepreneurs and for larger groups. So, um, yes, we were not pleased in 2008-2009. We, we had to allocate a, a number of resources to to understand or to adapt uh, to to some new rules, etc. But we think that 2011 is going to be a better year, and we hope 2012 uh, as well. So yes, to reply to your question, I think that uh, yeah, the the worst of this uh, of this um, of this situation that you refer to as the Orascom uh, crisis or Orascom based crisis, we think that. Uh, we're heading to better times. Uh, I know you, you you have limited presence, at least no direct presence in Tunisia. But going back again to the uh, to the social social unrest in both countries, do, do you see any relationships uh, relationship between the two, or are they all these events purely coincidental? We are not. We 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 don't know. Tunisia well enough to 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 to, to give a, to give a, to give an opinion. Uh, I mean, there are there. Are, I mean, the, the the these are two different countries with uh, two different regimes. Uh, we there are certainly uh, uh, related issues. Uh, one of them is uh, obviously the the cost of uh, of basic foods uh, and and, and that, these issues concern um, 
other countries, not only in the region, but in, in the world, etc. Uh, but we, we think that the comparisons between the, the two situations, uh, we, we would avoid the shortcuts. I mean, uh, again, we don't know well enough Tunisia, but it's, uh, it's, it's our opinion that uh, the situations are very, very, very different. And, and final question relates perhaps to, uh, to to your governments or Western governments in, in general. What's their position and do you think they have what it takes to influence the course uh, of, of those events or of, of policy in, in the region, particularly in Algeria, or are they taking a sort of uh, wait-and-see uh, approach uh, to these events? Well, obviously, uh, and again, I will talk uh, rather about Algeria, which I'm following closely, but uh, uh, apart from a few exceptions here and there, uh, the, 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 the governments, uh, foreign governments, have uh, indeed rather adopted a wait-and-see position, very few declarations, uh, but, but also uh, those foreign governments know that uh, uh governments such as the Algerian governments uh, don't like uh, don't like too direct um, uh, intervention or declarations that could become very very counterproductive so it's uh, it's it's I, I don't think that the wait and see attitude comes only from the fact that people don't know what is going to happen uh, tomorrow it's also or mainly because they they know uh, by experience that uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's, n it's not well received if they make uh, too much declarations if they try to put too much pressure and 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 and, and to tell you the truth and again this refers to Algeria uh, only I don't think that at this stage of the crisis which is uh, apparently softening. I don't think that uh, any uh, uh, official declaration by uh, by uh, by a Western or any foreign government would have been appropriate. Yes, and I agree with that. I think rushing to judgment could be detrimental to uh, bilateral relations, economic relations. And uh, with that, I uh, thank you for your uh, your time and, and your thoughts. <music> This was the North Africa Journal podcast. Thank you for listening.